Hey child and welcome back to my channel. Clearly 2020 has been a crap show. We're clearly in the apocalypse. Zombies should be walking the earth at any given moment. But when they get here, mother must look cute. So I decided to escape the current reality that is 2020 and take myself back to the 90s. I went to the beauty supply, you know, that is my safe haven. And I saw a jail from my childhood that just reminded me of Saturday mornings, watching cartoons in my footy pajamas as my mama braided my hair. And that gel is Icy Fantasia. I don't know if I've ever used this particular gel, but the brand, close to my heart. So this is their hair polisher styling gel with sparkle light. So I said, you know what, look, 2020 is just, it's a mess. I'm getting ready to escape and you're gonna go with me. Okay, you don't have a choice, you're coming. While I'm on this journey of seeing how my natural hair responds to this, of course, mother got to put on a show. And so I am using some products from Camille Rose that I have not quite shared with this channel yet. I have their cleansing milk, the Moroccan pear conditioning custard, and the Curl Love moisture milk that will serve as my leave-in. And if you didn't quite catch all that, don't worry. All the links to everything that I'm using is in the description box. Now, either this is gonna be absolutely spectacular, or I'm going to look a horrible mess. But either way, you'll be entertained. And so since we're in the Hunger Games, I might as well use their lingo and say, may the odds be ever in my favor. Okay, let me go wash my hair and we'll get started. Hey, child. back i've washed my hair and taken a shower hair clean booty clean let's go on to the next step oh as far as the cleansing milk goes i'll just wrap it up by saying that's the second bottle i purchased absolutely love it super gentle cleanser gets you real clean get your spa feel honey it's bomb so let's get into this i've never used this before it's the moroccan pear conditioning custard all clean ingredients standard instructions leave it on for five to ten minutes it's not a deep treatment it's a regular conditioner so let's just see it smells delightful but it ain't the start of the show, so let's just hurry up and get through this. So we just gonna apply this just like that right here. I'm gonna invite a special guest to the program. If you're new here, hi, her name is Samantha. Just play along with everybody else. So on the count of three, say hey, Samantha. One, two, three. Hey, y'all. Look at that. That just, that, wow. This is, this is real interesting. So what I'm gonna do is let this sit for about five to 10 minutes. Rinse it out, come back, and we're gonna get ready to get into this icy fantasia. I'll be back. And we're back. I just rinsed out the conditioner. I'm over here dripping like a wet poodle. It was cool. Like it had moisture and slip, but for my hair type, I need a little bit more. So while I'll use it up, can I say I will repurchase it? Probably not. So let me just go ahead and get to this leave-in. Is there curl up moisture milk? If it seems like I rush in, I am. I'm trying to get to this jail, honey. So I'm gonna put some of this all over my head, put my cap on, and baby, we're gonna get into this icy fantasia. Take this, do like that. This smell like something, like some type of baked goods. Look at that little fro growing in, honey. Did that bitch up and watch him, honey. She's already almost back. Well, I mean, not almost, but you know, you get the point. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes, come back, and we're gonna get to styling, honey. I'll be back. All right, so my hair has been detangled and separated. It's time to get into the gel. But first, about this leave-in. I feel the same way I do about the conditioner. It is moisturizing, it does have slip. But for my hair type, I need just a little bit more. So before I outright say I don't like it, I'm gonna try it again on another wash day to see how my hair responds. And then I'll know whether it's for me or not. Now, let's get into this gel. I see Fantasia. Ow. So this is their hard to hold hair polisher styling gel with sparkle lights. It's alcohol free and non-flaking and it says it gives you the greatest shine on earth. We shall see. So this is what I'm gonna do. On one part of my hair, well this section, I'm gonna do just the gel. And then on the rest of my hair, I'm going to do a styling cream with the gel, just in case this is super crunchy and I don't want my hair feeling like a skillet, for lack of a better word. So let's get into this. The gel itself in my local beauty supply was $4.99. And y'all know we like us some $5 wash day product. I'm so excited, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to get into some 90s goodness let's get into this gel all right so i'm just take some in my hand and put it on my hair feels very silky as i put it on let's take this rake it through real quick and let it go in five four three two
I know you I, I know you saw it. Do y'all see it? I know, listen, I know you see. Okay, let's not get too excited. Let's try another section. Put some gel on my hands, rake that through, and we're gonna let it go in five, four, three, two. Oh, honey. I like that. Y'all, do y'all see? My curls look so good. I like this a lot. Let me finish this side and then we're gonna go to the side with the texture ID, hold on. All right, so we're gonna get into this side and I'm gonna use some Texture ID styling cream just in case this gel dries crunchy. I wanna make sure it doesn't do that all over my hair. So this is actually a lot. I'm gonna do like this and I'm gonna rub that through the entire section. That's just to add a little bit of moisture so that the gel don't get too crunchy. Now my tip to you is if you ever are combining a cream and a gel, you wanna work that cream in as much as possible so that you can prevent flakes. Cause if I leave a big glob of white right here and I don't work that in and I put a gel on top, when the gel and the cream dry, it's gonna turn into flakes. So I wanna work this into my hair as much as possible. Blot off the excess. You see how I put the cream on but I didn't let it stay white? That's the key to try to prevent flakes. All right. All right, so we are gonna take some of this Icy Fantasia gel, roll that on there. It feels incredible when you apply it. I'm gonna just rake that on. Yes, honey. So that is what I'm going to do to the remainder of my hair. This will be the side with just the gel and the rest of my hair will be gel and texture ID. And I'm gonna come back and show it to you once it's all applied. All right, so the gel and the cream have been completely applied. And again, this section of hair is just the gel on top of my leave-in. The remainder of my hair is the texture ID cream with the gel on top. And honestly, I feel like it looks really promising y'all i feel like i look like michael jackson in the pepsi ad with that jerry curl just like it ain't dry though and it's all the way curled so with that being said i'm gonna get under the dryer and once it's completely dry before i do anything like stretching picking fluffing any of it i'm gonna let you see how we dry it and we're gonna finish this out all right it's been an eternity but my hair is finally dry what i can say for sure is number one i'm in love number two so far, it seems that even though this says hard hold, it has a beautiful medium hold. And what I mean is my curls are definitely locked in so that like the hold is there. But at the same time, there's a softness and a flexibility to my hair to so where it's not crunchy at all. Like I have the perfect amount of hold with no crunch. So I don't, I don't have in my mind that it's possible that I'll get breakage once I fluff and pick and stretch my hair. So speaking of fluffing, picking and stretching, let me go do that and next time you see me, it'll be final results. These are my final results. So I can honestly say I freaking love this gel. So of course this is the side with the styling cream and the gel. And these are my curls with just the gel. I can honestly say this gel is the perfect balance of hold because it locks in my curl pattern. But at the same time, there was no crunch whatsoever. And it was able to leave my hair soft enough to where it feels very movable and flexible. Like I love this. I was able to get volume without worrying about tearing up my hair because it was too crunchy. Now, can I say that it has replaced wet line in my life? Honey, I'm not gonna reach that far. But I will say I absolutely loved it. And that feeling of nostalgia of seeing things from my childhood still work for me. So I am gonna link to it in my description box. If you do wanna check it out, Walgreens sells it. So you can get it there. It's, I think it's like $5.29 instead of the $4.99 I paid. Check out the link in my description box. So let me turn around and show you the bag. And I'm gonna get you on out of here, honey. And this is the side with just the gel and no style cream. I am so in love with my hair. I really enjoy this gel. Y'all gonna see this a lot. I'm gonna go back and forth between this and wet line and a couple other ones that I truly love. But y'all, for $4.99, mother can't be mad at this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Me love you long time. Maki Dada, and I'm out of here. Bye, y'all. Thanks for taking a trip down memory lane with me.